Hey everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll be showing you how to get the Jade mod for Fabric. So, Jade is basically this mod we're looking at here, which is super common in mod packs. It basically lets us see if a block we're selecting is mineable with the pickaxe we're holding. I want you to keep in mind that Jade is, as it says here, a fork of Huayla, which was a mod from back in the day that had 84 million downloads and basically did pretty much the same thing as Jade. The thing is, it stopped getting updates at some point. The mod creator stopped updating it and gave all the rights for future players to update it. By the way, just so you know, the last version of Huayla is for one. 16.5 and Jade is basically an improved version of that mod for both old and new versions. Here it tells us a bit about the notable changes it has. On the other hand, regarding important matters, it seems they don't require any specific compatibility for fabric mods which means that most of the compatibility is already built into the mod itself, so we don't need to worry about that. Now, to get the mod, we'll go to the Files section, click on All Mod Loaders, select Fabric, and then choose the version we want for this mod. Next, we'll open the search bar, type a percent update a percent, and navigate to the Minecraft Mods folder. Once in the Mods folder, we'll simply save the mod there. We'll copy the file address, click the three dots next to the Fabric version we want, select Download, Wait for the 5 second countdown and then save the mod in this folder. We also have other mods like the Fabric API and Mod Menu. Mod Menu gives us a menu of all the different mods we've installed, while the Fabric API allows for better compatibility between various mods. So if we want to ensure everything works perfectly, we can... There's another mod called Bookshelf, which basically stores information for many other mods. It would be smart to download it, but since it's not recommended, I assume this mod is already installed by default. I'll mention it here, but I won't provide a download link because I think it's unnecessary. Just know that if we happen to be missing any mod, we have Bookshelf available. Lastly, make sure you have the Fabric software, which is super easy to get. You'll find it in the description as well. Basically, we'll go to Minecraft, to Minecraft Launchers, then to Installations, and click on New Installation. From there, we'll type in Fabric and select the latest version of Fabric. We'll click on Create, and once we've done that, we'll go to Play, click on this drop-down menu, and select the latest version of Fabric by clicking Play. This way, we'll definitely have this mod included in our game. Thanks for watching this video, subscribe and I'll see you in future videos.